Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Well, today's not really a tutorial, it's kind of a... something to introduce you into the new Illustrator CC, just so you don't get too confused and scared the first time that you open it. So if you didn't notice, Illustrator CC has been updated to 2018, and the first time that you open it, you're going to see the top of the screen is very, very large because they got rid of the, the old properties bar. Now I became very fond of it, I rather like it, but now they move the properties over here on the right side and you have the same selections here just in a bigger space. Now I guess theoretically it's kind of nice because you can kind of see all your options in one spot, but if you're like me and you like to have your layers open, swatches, colors and all that, I feel like this is going to get in the way. Time will tell, I don't want to diss it and whatnot until I've actually used it thoroughly, but at my first look at it, I'm not too fond of it. So let's give it let's take a look at that. So let's draw out a box here and you can see that we have all the options here. Very spread out. They're all labeled so it's nice. You can see where your stroke is at and all that good stuff. Um, you can click down here and get your appearances. Um, you can also go into your text and you'll see your characters here. You click these little dots and it'll open up more options and all that. So it's nice to have it all right there but again I think it's going to take up too much space and become confusing and troublesome but We'll see. And then the more importantly, the new feature that I'm in love with is over here. If you click on your artboards, which is Shift O, boom, you'll see that we get a nice outline. And let's create a new artboard on the side here. Actually, let's just hold on Alt, drag out, and let's drag out another one. And they cr increase the amount of artboards that you can have. So I guess now you can have a thousand. I've never ran out of artboards because I've never really used that many. I think the most I had was about a hundred and it worked pretty fine using that. Anyhow, so now you can go up to a thousand, but the greatest feature is before you'd have to try and line these up, which was so annoying, especially when you had different sized ones and there were so many of them. But now what you can do is you select the artboard, hold down shift, select the other one, hold down shift, select more, and look at this. Over on the right side, you have arrangement. So you can arrange it to the top, to the center, all that good stuff. That is going to be a nice lifesaver for me and save me a lot of time. Other than that, there really isn't too much that I am going to use. They have the new Puppet Warp tool, which is similar to Photoshop. So you can warp your illustrations and whatnot and have anchor points and all that, which I'll do another tutorial, tutorial on later. But it's not too great for me. I don't really use it. Anywho, that's about it. If you guys know of any other cool features, be sure to leave in a comment below. But this is just a quick introductory so you're not too scared when you open it up and see no top bar. Don't worry, it's all the way on the right side here. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys later.